good morning everyone My, i am shweta vinay kumbarwadi from uh, microbiology department from ckt college panvel uh, again in second session we will discuss about the uh, continuation of the biosa methods in last session we uh, just uh, told about the diffusion assay method for used for the biosa in this session we will study the turbidometric assay and metabolic response assay so what is turbidometric assay in turbidometric assay here we use the liquid medium where uh, we can check the growth of organism in the form of turbidity so that's why the name is turbidometric assay the compound for assay used in this liquid medium and growth rate or total growth of the organism used for test measured in term as turbidity of the medium so growth may increase or decrease depend on the compound used for the test as again if the compound is inhibitory then there is a no growth of the organism and if the compound is stimulatory like any growth factor then there is a growth and turbidity of in the medium so a suitable sterile medium here is used for the turbidometric assay uh, and graded amount of the sterile material to use for the assay added so all the tubes incubated with a, con a cons constant amount of vigorous young culture of the test organism and then incubated for specific period at constant temperature as this uh, temperature and time depends on the test organism which are using the length of the incubation period depends on whether the turbidity of the culture is to be determined at some point during logarithmic growth the total growth of the organism which can occur in the particular medium so turbidity measured visually or spectrophotometrically where we get the od uh, in the terms of optical density or absorbance the optical density is plotted against the concentration of standard to obtain a standard curve and on this standard curve we can check the concentration of our unknown compound so again here we can plot concentration of our standard and on y axis we will plot od now here in diffusion assay we are plotting on y axis uh, zone of diameter in terms of millimeter and in this turbidometric assay we need to plot optical density and again plot a standard graph with straight line and determine the concentration of unknown concentration of your product so here you can observe the gradation in the optical density uh, as if there is a antimicrobial compound then you can observe the gradation where the turbidity is going to be decreased yes and if you are using your growth factor then the turbidity of the medium will get increased which is vice versa in metabolic response assay this is the third assay metabolic response assay here instead of measuring the growth of organism here we uh, we check or measure the activity of an organism against that the compound so measurement of the effect of the fermentation product on some metabolic reactions that the test organism carries out during the growth organism may evolve carbon dioxide gas or uptake oxygen gas during the particular metabolic process so when certain compound is present thus the compound types its concentration and its uptake measured indirectly by measuring the amount of gas evolved by the organism under standard condition so instead of growth here we are measuring the metabolite which is produced by the organism so the substance being assayed determines the type of response measures which is dependent upon the biochemical effect of the substance on the metabolism of the organism so all types of microbial response may be placed either of the following categories as growth response or metabolic response in growth response most microbiological procedures that are used for analysis depend upon the growth response of the microorganism to the environment in the organism response to the substance being analyzed with increased growth which is known as its positive effect but if the organism fails to grow in the presence of particular component then it's it is a negative so the growth or lack it may be measured by numerical counts like optical density or weight or area the response may be graded in proportion to the concentration of the test material or it may be a definite and an all none response whether it is positive or negative in metabolic response in addition to the growth response of an organism to a particular substance 
there may be a metabolic reactions to the material certain organism produce metabolic products which are major measurable which may have a change in some functions that can be measured so among the measurable metabolic response are acid production or carbon dioxide production etc in acid production we can check the acid content or in carbon dioxide production molecules of the carbon dioxide produced so uh, in next session we will study about the last uh, method of the bias and thank you very much